it's yeah, yeah i actually have started the recording but you have disappeared so please turn off your camera and turn it on again uh, okay now am i visible yes yes you are visible now so oh. can you please introduce yourself yes uh, sure my name is tabish uh, i'm from india uttar uh, state uttar pradesh i am a student of master of science uh, like uh, i am doing msc i'm pursuing msc in botany subject so that's uh, it's all about me mm-hmm. if i talk about my uh, hobbies so uh, i i love i love to play cricket okay that's it yeah that's it okay, if you okay. know something so you can you, you can ask Okay. All right. I'll I'll ask you when any question will pop up in my head. Yeah. So um, so should I introduce myself as well? Yes. Yes. Of course. Okay. So I'm Myra. I'm from uh, Karachi, Pakistan, and I'm doing masters in English literature. That's great. So first of all, can you please tell me how did you come across my channel? Uh, actually, uh, uh, I was scrolling uh, YouTube. and uh, since uh, i i also uh, uh, want to improve my english so uh, i i so i was scrolling so i found your videos so that time i watched i watched your videos so i thought that i should try to talk with you okay that's nice so you also have a youtube channel right yes i have Oh, actually, uh, I created it uh, uh, two years ago. That time, I was uploading uh, videos uh, like uh, tenses, grammars, or whatever I know. So, mm-hmm. but I'm I was not getting so much video uh, views. So I mm-hmm. stopped uploading videos. But uh, mm-hmm. now, uh, two or three weeks ago, I have uploaded a video. So. Uh, responses are uh, responses were good so that's why i uploaded second videos so uh, it was good so that's uh, i i think uh, i think that i i should start again yeah yeah that's a good uh, that's a good option and uh, so uh, you already have had these kind of sessions with people before right yes yes uh, i think uh, four or five people with person yeah okay so how was your experience yeah that's great actually uh, in my first uh, conversation i was not mm-hmm. able to express myself properly so uh, but now uh, like uh, uh, i keep doing session so now i can speak speak and uh, i can express myself so and i think i am getting confidence day by day yeah i think that uh, many people tell me the same thing that you know in their first session they were getting really nervous and they did not know how to speak what to say and they were stum- stumbling over their words and stuff like that but with the passage of time as they keep having these sessions on a regular basis they get more yes. and more better and more, and more confident so yeah this this happens with uh, everyone but for some strange reasons when i have had my very first session um i was like not feeling nervous i don't know why what was the reason i was not feeling nervous but with the passage of time as i kept having these sessions uh, eventually i realized that i was feeling nervous like initially i was not feeling nervous but after having like 5 10 to 12 sessions one day i was feeling nervous and i was like why is this happening i shouldn't be feeling nervous at this point so it was very strange actually usually uh, it, this kind of uh, things not happen with people uh, when uh, yeah. we start so that time we uh, get nervous so yeah but it's a different case <laughs> yeah it happened to me a couple of times before like after having 10 sessions after that I, when i was having another session with someone i was slightly feeling nervous and it happened with me a couple of times and at that time i was not being able to figure out the reason behind that like wh- why would i feel nervous after having so many sessions and initially 
uh, when I had my first session, when I actually had to, when I actually was supposed to feel nervous at that time, I was pretty confident. So it's quite bizarre. Yeah, actually, your English is very fluent. Actually, you you talk uh, with very fluency. Actually, so uh, like uh, uh, for how long have you been uh, speaking in English? um i think that i started learning english uh, uh, in a very young age and i was probably like in 7th standard or 8th standard at that time uh, and i mostly learned english by reading books yeah and that's why that's why you uh, you are very fluent basically yeah. we we uh, uh, studied in hindi medium actually first mm-hmm. so after that uh, we uh, jump in the uh, english medium and uh, in 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 our graduation uh, we mm-hmm. uh, studied in english so from there uh, we start uh, in english so that's why i think and and speaking uh, i started uh, just 3 months ago speaking english uh, so mm-hmm. always i always want to speak english but uh, i can, i was not able to speak so uh, some people uh, suggested me so that uh, you 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 should uh, speak uh, with anyone like uh, with yourself so uh, until until uh, unless you speak so you cannot speak english so that's why i started uh, when i started so i was not able to say anything in english but uh, now i can speak Uh, not uh, i i'm not very fluent and uh, i make mistake a lot so but uh, i try to speak i just want to uh, get first uh, confident uh, once mm. i confidence so it will be perfect yeah i think that's what matters the most that you have to keep trying and keep speaking and uh, whoever suggested you this idea to start speaking is absolutely right and uh, uh, one thing that i also noticed in my learning uh, journey is that um, no matter how much how many books you are reading on a regular basis no matter how many english tv series you are watching on a consistent basis if you are not speaking english your fluency will never increase and you will yes, never sir. become confident yeah uh, so speaking uh, is very important and this is something keep saying in all of my sessions like whenever i have these sessions with people i keep repeating this thing that guys speaking should be the very first step and it should be the because it, it is a paramount significance to speak on a regular basis yeah uh, after having uh, uh, lots of uh, session lots of conversation so uh, like i also call on the video call uh, sorry uh, i also talk on audio call Uh, like uh, mm-hmm. there is there are lots of uh, app where i can so after having these all session uh, i came to know uh, this is the only way to speak and to be fluent in english yeah, yeah. so you I, you have been talking on audio call yes yes uh, like uh, there is a, an app be english i uh, frequently use that app Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so which, uh, which do you think is more difficult? Talking on a video call is more difficult, or talking on a voice call is more difficult? Yes, actually, uh, uh, when I co- uh, talk on audio call, so I think uh, I I am good in on audio call, like uh, mm-hmm. I can talk uh, very good. But when I talk on video call, so some uh, is. uh i i got nervous and uh, yeah. uh, i am taking uh, pauses so much so uh, mm. that is i think it is uh, difficult to uh, on video call but i think uh, uh, i should uh, practice on audio uh, video call more so by practicing it will be uh, uh, good i yeah. think uh, so like So, like, which option do you think is more effective? Talking on a video call for enhancing your confidence, or talking on an on an audio call? 
for enhancing your confidence or for improving your english yeah i think uh, uh, on video call uh, it is a good way because uh, mm -hmm. uh, on on audio call you can speak well but uh, if you uh, comes on video call so you get uh, nervous so that's why you should uh, try to uh, talk on video call more so that mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, you can be confident i totally concur with you that's very true talking on uh, a video call really helps you because you are also seeing the other person and the other person is seeing you as well so because of that you stay very conscious of yourself that how you are looking and how you are speaking while on an audio call you just you know you are just talking with a person through your voice that person can see you what you are doing so it's like really good i think uh, talking with people on an audio call yes uh, because i uh, i talk on both so i can easily differentiate uh, mm -hmm. uh realize that when i talk on uh, audio call uh, i can talk very well but uh, when i uh, call uh, talk on video call so somewhere mm -hmm. i get nervous i i i could not uh, uh, express myself well in in mm -hmm. manners and so i i i think i should keep trying on <coughs> on video call yeah 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 so you shouldn't give up on this and uh, um it's it's a very good thing that you are willing to strive to become a better version of yourself because one thing that i noticed about people is that not many people are like going in that direction like not many people are willing to uh, become a better version of themselves they are you know they have become complacent in their life and they don't want to learn any language they don't want to learn any skills or stuff like that so it's a very good thing i always like people who are working on themselves and who are like really dynamic and who yes. are always willing to take these risks yeah Actually, so yeah. so tell me yeah. you were saying something uh, when i watched uh, videos on youtube videos uh, so uh, i try to approach those person to mm -hmm. talk so that i can so talk and i can be also uh, confident so mm -hmm. i i always uh, mail uh, other person to talk with me so yeah, like yeah it's a good thing so uh, do you get the response from them yeah like you uh, responded and uh, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, there is uh, one person uh, didn't respond uh, otherwise mm -hmm. everyone responded yeah so uh, same thing happened with me like um, i also like used to email people initially when my youtube youtube channel was very new so at that time i also noticed that some people like don't really res respond and things like that so does it feel bad <laughs> yes yeah. so uh, i i i i don't feel bad because uh, uh, all uh, their choice actually so yeah. i try to approach uh, uh, yeah. because uh, i don't uh, i cannot do anything like uh, yeah. when he, he he or she want to talk so i, I can talk because uh, i approach him. yeah so i actually have a very sensitive personality which is like really also my toxic personality trait uh, so when i initially approached these people and when i did not receive the response from them it kind of like you know it kind of hurt me i was like why are they not willing to collaborate with me i mean i'm not pretty well so sometimes it it does happen with you but later on you have to like you know realize the fact that maybe they are busy maybe they haven't read your email or something like that that could also be a possibility so i think that uh, this this personality of mine uh, i mean being sensitive is like one of my biggest uh, toxic personality traits and i really want to get rid of this <laughs> yeah that's why i uh, didn't complain so uh, whenever not uh, i whenever i didn't get uh, response so i i don't feel bad uh, i th i think that 
so maybe they they are occupied somewhere so i, I don't because feel bad. If we are living in the era where everyone is like really busy life is yeah. very fast everyone is like really busy we have so many t- things to do on a regular basis and because of that sometimes people don't really get the chance to read their mails or read their messages or even if they end up reading their messages they don't have the time to like collaborate with all the people that they are receiving the messages from it happens with me as well like for example uh, lately i have been receiving a lot of messages and a lot of emails from so many people and it's so overwhelming i feel highly elated but at the same time uh, it gets really uh, difficult for me to like talk to everyone like see i am also studying i am doing masters in english literature so i have to study and i have to do domestic chores as well so by doing all those things it gets really difficult to also like collaborate with so many people at once Yes. So I can understand for sure. Like uh, now, uh, you are uh, you are not uh, uh, seeing my message right now, and uh, you are not replying. So I thought that I think uh, uh, she uh, she may be occupied with uh, another person or yeah, other uh, video call. So I I mm-hmm. that, yeah I thought that I think uh, today. we have not no conversation so no actually i think i should actually i was having a session with someone before your message and yes. uh, i knew about the time i was like conscious about the time so i even though my conversation was like really interesting with that lady but then i checked the time and i saw that it was the scheduled time for our session so i told her that i have another session with someone so i have to just you know discuss and the discussion yes that's it that time uh, uh, i didn't feel bad i, I yeah. actually i went yeah i went to the uh, outside from my room so when you yeah. uh, uh, messaged me texted me so i returned back it it's a good thing that uh, you don't really care about people and their behavior and i also want to become like that like for example if i am not getting the kind of response from someone that i am expecting to get or if someone does not live up, live up to my expectation that yes. really just hurts me sometimes you know so i want to work on that area of my personality and i want to become more stronger emotionally like i don't want to get affected by the behavior of the other people but uh, this is something which i really struggle with most of the times but i am working on this and one thing that i have noticed is that that i have become emotionally stronger even i mean now i have seen made progress in that particular area whenever whenever it happens with me so i left i i didn't i i don't uh, uh, text again to that mm-hmm. person but when uh, he uh, responded Uh, many days after many days so i uh, talk with, the, with that person so softly i never re- i never let them uh, realize that uh, i felt bad <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It's a that is thing. it's yeah. a good thing and i think we shouldn't expect anything from people in the first place because people will always let you down so don't expect anything from people and just just know at the end of the day these people probably will show you their true color so yeah that's why it, i mean it won't hurt you if you are already mentally prepared for their behavior if you are already mentally prepared that these people will change eventually then it won't hurt the change won't hurt yes yes of course so yeah. I, i i i don't feel bad with any person i always uh, Leave, leave them uh, in their own space. I, I don't, uh, I don't disturb them again. So I leave myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a good thing. So, so we have been talking for like twenty minutes, and I have another session with someone. Yes. So, yeah, of course, no yeah. problem. Uh, I just uh, okay. try to speak like. Uh, i i just want to get confidence so that's mm-hmm. why i approached you and it was a nice conversation and you are very over helping 
and you are uh, also nice person actually because thank you yeah 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 it was nice conversation thank you so much yeah. for connect yeah it was a really nice conversation and you also are a very nice person and stay connected and take care of yeah. yourself and a good day yeah thank you you too you too thank you yeah. thank you bye bye, bye.